Hello everybody, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing the things that I have sold lately to make almost $1,200 from flipping things from garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores. So I'm going to share with you the things that I bought, what I bought them for, and what I sold them for, and just my general strategy for making money selling online. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I am a reselling homeschooling mom. I flip things from all different places onto as many different platforms as I can in order to get my items in front of as many buyers as possible to make money to help support my family. I also do other things like print on demand and a few other different things to bring in income. Uh, so if you're interested in any of those things, learning how to make money online and from home, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, some of these things, sometimes I'll share my sales off and on. I don't share everything, but I share some of my sales throughout uh, over on Instagram and Facebook. So follow me over there if you're on those platforms. Okay. So let's dive into my sales. Oh, I do want to say I am streaming live. So hi, if you're here live, hello, hello. And also I noticed on my last live, it was a little pixelated in parts. So I am aware that that might happen in the replay and apologies up front if it does. Usually it clears up, uh, but I just need to find out about my, my service because that's not cool, man. That's not cool. Okay, let's start with this. Now, uh, this is a... An alphabet card. I bought a pack of they were vintage style alphabet flashcards, and the whole set was selling for about 25 bucks for the box of them. And when I got them home, I realized that there were three miss A, A and B were missing. I don't remember if C was missing now, but because there were some missing, uh, I had two options at that point basically, re donate or part them out. And I'm so glad that I parted them out because they have been selling and they're selling for more than the whole set would have sold for by itself. So I've already made way more off of them by parting them out. And I, I have them uh, titled as like frameable nursery art because they were, you know, a good size. They weren't like little flashcards. They were, you know, a, a, a good size there to be able to have, you know, in a nursery or whatever. It didn't have to be a nursery, but so, and they just had a cool look to them. So the whole box uh, that I bought, let me see what they were. I put this in my, come on now. Can I see more here? Okay. It's not gonna let me see more. I think I spent $4 on the whole box. So it ended up being maybe less than a quarter a piece, but that's what I ended up putting in my notes. Hey, everybody in the chat. Thanks for being here. I'm just going to say, hey, real fast, y'all. Uh, JPGR mom. Thanks, Stacy and Anae. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Sweet Teas and Sammy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, go hit that thumbs up. Okay. So next up, these, oh, and these are my sales on Mercari. So I'll, I'll tell you what platforms I sold things on. So then I also sold this vase on Mercari. And it's just this green abstract vase. This was not, there was no maker's mark on it. There was, it was just cool looking. I liked it. Uh, and so I bought this for three bucks and it sold for $28 pretty quickly. Most of these are fairly recent. There's, I'll, I'll tell you if it's something that's been listed forever. But a lot of these are, are really recent sales or recent purchases rather. I've had one sale on Poshmark and it was this open mouth jack-o'-lantern candy uh, dish. I bought this at Savers for $2 and it sold for 25 bucks. That's my only sale on Poshmark. I don't really do super great on Poshmark, but I like to have my uh, items everywhere so that, you know, just in case, because if I didn't, then this wouldn't have sold, right? So um, I use List Perfectly. So if you're interested in checking that out, I have a link below. You, I think it's like three day free trial, um, but I have a 30% off coupon if you're interested, but that's what I use to like list super fast. Okay. Let's, let's dive into eBay sales. Cause I got a lot of eBay sales. Let me make it bigger. So a while back, I talk about it every time on sales, a friend of mine, uh, gave me nine big long boxes of comic books. Um, and I was so grateful because they have been selling and some of them are smaller sales. Some of them were bigger sales. So this X-Men comic uh, sold for $12 and I paid nothing for that. So that was awesome. Uh, this was a Dr. Strange that also sold. That was $12. There was another one coming up too. All right. These have been listed since the dawn of time. <laughs> Ever. It's been for 
ever. So I'm glad they're sold. This is one of those things that, that they're uh, listed and forget it, right? They're lifeies. And that, I, yeah, I don't even know. I probably got them in a lot because I used to buy a lot of cufflink lots and then just part them out. So who knows how long they've been there. But they finally sold. Yay, for $15. Actually, I think they sold for less than that. Because sometimes on eBay, when you take a best offer, this other price still shows up. Yeah, these sold for 10 bucks. Cool. Okay, so those sold for $10. I have my, my spreadsheet over to the side. Hello, everybody coming in the chat. Y'all chat it up. Say hey. <laughs> um, let's see. I would hate to ship. How did you say? Oh, the, the vase? I just use a bunch of bubble wrap. The vase wasn't ginormous. Um, let me see if I can flip back to it. I can tell you though real fast. Where did it go? Well, I can't. Okay. So the, the vase was not really super big. It was only maybe like yay big. It was like that part, the bulby part. I shipped it in um, the USPS shoebox, if you know the one I'm talking about. And I just, you know, bubble wrapped it really well. And then like craft paper all around. It worked out. It worked out. Okay. So that one sold for 10 bucks. Let's move on. Another one. This one was Semper Fi. Uh, this sold for $11. And actually the, the person who purchased this reached out to me on Instagram and I think also on eBay because they buy certain comics for vets and they actually left their, in the the review that they left, you know, talked about that. And they were like, Hey, if you come across, and they sent me a list of comics, like, Hey, if you come across any of these comics, you know, we're looking for these to send to, to vets, which I thought was really cool. Cool. So that one sold for that much. I have too many windows open. Hang on. I've lost it. There it is. Okay. Then this plastic ring, that's right. This plastic ring sold. Uh, I think I got it in a jewelry jar. And it sold for $18. That was a pretty easy one. This is another one that's been listed. It's funny because I have these two rings that are kind of bezel set like this. And they're vintage, kind of like men's heavy, kind of Mad Men style, old timey ring uh, rings. I had two that I've had listed forever that sold like in the same couple days, which I don't know if this is a new style. And these were, I mean, they're not in great shape. You can see the... This, the gold tone is rubbing off on the sides. I mean, they just, they, they're okay. I mean, from the front, they look, they look fine. Um, but yeah, I, again, I've had it forever and it sold for $16. I was glad that it did. This is one that I got. Oh gosh, did I get this at a garage sale? I feel like I did. Uh, but again, I, I always talk about selling figural items, animals. This was a really pretty ostrich or emu. And I bought it for, where's my list? I bought it. Oh, I didn't put it on here, but I can check. Let's scroll down, see how much I bought it for. I keep notes here. This is my, how much I bought it for. I bought it for $4. If you ever want a cheat sheet, you want to see like, well, how much, how much did Margaret pay for that thing? Four bucks on that. Um, I used to keep it in a spreadsheet, but it took me forever to go like search the spreadsheets to figure out like you know, find the cost of goods sold, blah, 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 blah. So now I just keep it here and I make it as I go. It's a lot easier that way. Um, but anyway, so for 35 bucks, I bought it for four. So that's cool. And that's a pretty recent pickup as well. This is another one. This this is one that I picked up. I actually thought I was going to keep it because it, I love Neil Gaiman. But it, it's just really a, um, it's not at poems that are written by him. It says, now we are sick. It's a, it's a play on the, like the Winnie the Pooh. Oh, it's her E E L E O L. I can't think of her, her name, Milne, but uh, now we are six is the, is that one. But this one was a play on that. So they're really macabre poems, poems and things like that. And I thought, oh, I love Neil Gaiman. I'm going to get this. Uh, but then I realized, oh, it's not, not really written. It's more like a compilation of other people's poetry that are kind of dark, which is still fun. So I paid three bucks for this and decided, eh, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And so I did. And it sold for 12 bucks. Now I did talk about there is a version of this book that's a collectible that's like a hardback. Uh, when I was doing the research on this, I, I think I can't remember what video I talked about it in, but there is a version of this book that's like the hardback collectible version that sells for a lot. So anytime I see Neil Gaiman, I just pick it up. <laughs> I just double check it or anything with weird titles and things like that. Okay, let me check in the chat. Uh, it looks scary to ship that bird. Same deal. 
I just bubble. I mean, bubble wrap's my friend. I bubble wrapped it. Probably somebody's going to get it and be like, wow, I can start my own bubble wrap store. Yeah. How do I figure shipping? I, I'd usually just do the calculated that's there because they'll figure out from the distance how far it has to go and all that. Um, so I just put in the measurements and the weight for the most part. On Etsy, I do it a little bit differently. There are some that I do the Etsy calculated and some of them is just like a flat. If I know it's gonna be first class, like under 10 ounces or something, I just flat $4 is what I put on that. Once you've been selling the same size and weight of type of stuff for long enough, you get um, you get better at it. Bigger stuff, I have to kind of calculate. This is a mesh, I don't, I, I'm so upset my, with myself with this picture. <laughs> The pictures I, I don't like that I, they didn't turn out that great. Sorry. Um, but it's old. So that's what really matters, right? So this mesh bracelet sold for 21 bucks. Um, frequently here, it'll show the initial price that I posted, I, I um, listed it for. But I will do the, you know, send offer, things like that. And, uh, or best offer might have been taken. Ooh. Look, when I don't put a note, it's either I forgot how much I bought it for, or it was like in a jewelry jar or something like that. So probably it came in a Goodwill blue box, something of that nature. Okay, so let's talk about investments. <laughs> this was an investment. I still have one, two, three, four, four, four of them up there. Um, I t it's a gamble. You know, sometimes I gamble on Lego sets and it is like stocks, right? You never know, because sometimes Lego puts out sets and they only, it's like limited, but they're of course not going to tell you that. And they only put out so many and then they discontinue it fast. And then sometimes they put them out and they're out for a really long time. So that's what happened with these. Um, but I knew that there was a very high collector base for Doctor Who. So I bought, and they were $60 initially. I must have bought 20 of them. I bought a lot. Uh, and I have a Lego account of like through lego.com. And when you spend money through lego.com, when you spend a certain amount, you get like points that equals money off. And frequently, if you schedule it out a certain way, like you don't, I didn't buy all of them all at one time. Because if you buy, spend this much money, you get a free Lego thing. You spend this much money, you get a free Lego thing. So if you know how to like work it, then you can actually get more points and more, more actual Lego sets that are own, they're like Lego sets that aren't for sale in the store. They're just like, usually they're seasonal, things like that, that you can also flip. So a while back, I did that. I had some money, you know, of course, don't do this if you don't have money on, on hand. And I bought a bunch and I have four left now. So again, I spent $60 initially on each set. And now they're selling for, and I just raised the price because what I noticed was I, I suddenly had like, three sell in the same week and was like, oh, uh, let me go check and see what, because because clearly the other ones that were maybe less expensive or whatever had sold already. So now they were at my level of price wise. So I did, I went and checked and sure enough, mine was, you know, close to the lowest. So I went and bumped the prices up of the rest of them. That's what I did. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> This, a um, couple of them I did take offers on, so we'll see. So this one I took an offer of 150 bucks. So 60 bucks in, sold for 150, which, you know, is a fair profit, I think. Um, and again, they, they once they're totally really scarce, they will probably go through the roof, um, for sure. Now, y'all, this picture, this is when I say buy the weird stuff. I was, in, you know, I was at Savers, I looked at this picture, and I was like, oh, this is so fun. I love this little, it's a cat and this mirrored frame and so fun. And then I put it back. And I, one of the things when my kids go thrifting with me, I tell them, if you find anything weird and you're like, I don't know what this is or something that makes you laugh and you're like, haha, look at this, bring it to me and let's talk about if we want to sell it. So I, I looked at it. I was like, yo, this is fun. This is cute. And I put it back going around the thrift store. And then my kids bring it to me. Mom, look at this. I'm like, okay, it's a sign. And it sold really quickly. This cat couple picture I uh, bought for two bucks and it sold for $25, 25. Let's see. When you say limited time month year, you just don't know. That's what was the set? Cause there was one that I kicked myself that I, 
I think I only bought, I can't remember which one it was, but like, for example, Simpsons sets, like if I had gone in on any of like the Simpsons house or the Quickie Mart, the Quickie Mart's going for like 500 bucks at least, if not more, it's insane. Um, but yeah, some of them, they don't tell you. <laughs> They don't. I had a Batman set too, like the bat, the old time bat cave. That was an expensive one to buy up front, but I was like, I'm going to take a chance. So every now and then, or if I have a lot of like Lego money in my Lego account from buying so much Lego, then I might spend it on something that I'm going to put up to sell for later. We, my kids love Lego. We, we're a Lego family here. So definitely. Okay. Do, 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 do. Bubble wrap air pillows. Oh yeah, for sure. Bubble wrap and air pillows, decent box. You can ship anything for sure within reason. Yeah, I know that. Um, yeah. Cause there is a place, especially on eBay, not on other platforms though. Um, I kind of like it though. Cause I feel like I view my accounts kind of as, oh, as, as educational, like some people who are new to this or I don't mind people seeing, I mean, if anybody who's buying from me, who watches, who, who doesn't watch me, I mean, that's what we do, right? So I don't have a problem with people knowing when I'm, I don't. Anyway, okay, moving on. Uh, next up, another Doctor Who. So I sold three of them. This is what I was talking about. I sold three and then I was like, wow, these are starting to sell. I need to go adjust my price, see where I am in the, in the mix, in the mix. All right, so there's that one. This ring sold. It was a pretty cool ring. And this one sold for, hang on, that's not right. Is that right? I can't, I think I must've written the wrong number down. I put 57, but I know that's not right. So 35 bucks, maybe it was supposed to be 27. I might, I probably took an offer on this, um, but I typed in 57 and that's not correct. And again, this is one that I got probably in a, a lot. So probably paid about a buck for it. Once everything was all said and done, here's that third Doctor Who set that I have sold. And then this is a purse that I got at that garage sale where she was like, oh, the purses and shoes are a dollar. And I wish I'd bought more because <laughs> I, I don't do a whole lot of purses and shoes. But I was like, this is pretty nice. It's red. It's a fossil. It's leather. And I paid a buck for it and it sold for, let's see, did I take an offer on that? What is going on with my numbers over here? I put $68. Hang on. Something got off on my on my chart over here because <clears throat> that's not right. Um, so sold for 50 bucks. We'll just go with the, the asking price there. That's so strange. And then this one is another one of those cards. This one, that's going to bug me. I'm going to have to go back and look and see what I did. Um, again, this one sold for 10 bucks. It was, this was in the vintage flashcard set that I was telling you about. And then another one sold from that flashcard set. And this one ended up, I took an offer of eight bucks on this one. I'm, I'm like, what did I do on my chart? Cause I have, I keep, I have my spreadsheet over here. So eight bucks on that one. Again, maybe 25 cents, probably less than 25 cents. Cause the whole box was for $4. Okay. Who's ready for Etsy? Are you, how many platforms are y'all selling on? Are you selling on? Don't be afraid. When I started, a lot of people start on eBay I started on Etsy uh, because I started by selling a lot of my grandmother's stuff and she had a lot of really cool collectibles and vintage items. And then eBay was really intimidating for me. So I know some people say Etsy is intimidating for them, but Etsy was way easier for me. Um, but yeah, so I try to look at it as if, you know, if I only sold on eBay and I, that's why I kind of break it down. Like if I only sold on Poshmark, then I would have only had one sale. If I only sold on Mercari, I would have had only two sales right? And so if you look at it that way, you know, you don't have all your eggs in one basket. If I only sold on dot, 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 right? So, but then you put it all together and suddenly you're looking at, you know, $1,200 gross that is. Okay. So this was the last of these mother of pearl little purses. These were my grandmother's. She used them on her Christmas tree and I, I kept them and I just decided, you know, I'm going to go ahead and sell them. I'm looking over here where I put it. They're out of order. Um, so this sold for $22. A lady wanted it for her wedding. I don't know if they're going to put their wedding rings in it because they're, they're small. Uh, but she wanted it for her wedding and she was in the UK. So that sold for $22. Bucks. Hang on. Oh, I see. Um, I'm missing some stuff in the chat. Uh, hello, Lexi. Nice to see y'all. Um, 
let's see. I don't know that. Also put where, oh, you put where you put things in a, yeah, in a box. My, the way I organize, I can kind of turn the, this so you can see. It's very, very, very not, not fancy, but you can see like the boxes are like, this is glass stuff. This is bracelets. That's that. All the little tiny ones are jewelry. And then up top, it's like, these are shoes or belts or plush. So <laughs> that's how I recognize mine. I don't have a huge, I don't have a, like some people have crazy huge inventory. I have much more unlisted than I have listed. Let's see. But if I had more of like clothes and stuff, I would probably do that too. Um, just checking in the chat before I go on. Okay. Um, all right. Moving on. Next item on Etsy. This now this is again when I when I say like everything sells. This is just a plastic kind of glittery swirly plastic bracelet. Cool. Guess how much? If you follow me on Instagram, you already know. Probably got this in a Goodwill blue box or something. And this sold for $20, y'all. So 20 bucks on that one. Yep. Everything sells. These are the MMA candlesticks that I was telling you about. Uh, let me show you the mark. So you see it when you see this, when you see this mark, look it up. So when you see the mark MMA, I always say Metropolitan, it's Metropolitan Museum of Art, right? Metropolitan Museum of Art. So the it's like an art museum piece that's like a reproduction. Um, and sometimes, I mean, there's all, there's a gamut of things that they do, like Christmas ornaments even. It's crazy. But if you see MMA marked on something, then look it up. Because these, I think I bought, let's see, nine bucks. And they sold for $65. So very cool. Very, very cool. And then these trivets, I kind of kicked myself because I priced one of them at 20 and one of them at 25 because there, there was damage on one of them. So like the pig had this, you know, chip and I thought, oh, you know, and they were both pretty grimy. I mean, not grimy. I clean them up. I lightly clean things. Okay. But they were like, they had, they were worn. They were used for sure. And these are uh, Warren Kimball same person bought both of them. So even if I had had it listed at 25 bucks, they probably would have spent the 25 on both of them. So this one I listed at 20, this one at 25 and I bought them each for a dollar. So that could have been a $50, you know, so it was basically 45 bucks for $2 spent. Pretty nice. This was a mug that I got cause I just liked it. And I was like, I'm going to maybe keep this Bought it for three bucks, I think at Savers. It could have been Goodwill. Um, and it sold for 25. So nice. Still love the mugs. I again I've been trying to be a little more careful with them, but um, I don't know, they sell. All right, so this one I got in the that fun section at my savers where they have all the random fun books, like they don't know where to put it, so they just stick it in this section. Uh so I had never heard of this, but I know a lot of people like anime and things like that. So I bought this for $3 and it sold for $25. Yep. Another one of these sold from the, again, this way I say it probably 40 bucks at least made from what, if I'd sold the whole set by itself, like if it was complete, the whole set was selling for like 25 bucks. So already made a ton of money on just selling, parting out these cards. Then this is the other ring I was telling you about. I've had it listed forever. Uh, and this one sold for 25 as well. And again, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't. All of a sudden they both they both listed within the, the couple days of each other. <laughs> More list, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. You're nervous about do I Oh no, you don't get bad marks on eBay when, when, and I get that question a lot. So, and a lot of people are worried like, well, if I end the listing, isn't that it's different than ending a listing that somebody's bought and you can't fulfill it. Um, but yeah, I just, when I take it down from another, like say it sells on Etsy, I take it on down on eBay. Yeah. No biggie. I have every, everything I can posted across the board to everywhere I can. Etsy has a little bit more, um, it has to be vintage or, you know, supply, blah, blah, blah. 
but um, everything else goes everywhere, everywhere just to get all my buyers. And, and again, I, I love list perfectly. I know it might sound like a commercial, but it saves me so much time and the time I can list on one platform, I can get it across all of them so fast, so fast. Let's see. Do I have a minimum selling price on Etsy for possible listing fees? I'm trying to understand the question. Uh, to account for the listing fees. No, it's 20 cents to list on Etsy. And that's up front. Um, I'm not sure. Other than that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Savers. I'm just, oh yeah, I was on Nurse Filter. That was good. I enjoyed it because I, I don't do a whole lot of those. I have my reasons. I try to, not that there's any drama there, but I like, I, I don't do a whole lot of stuff with other resellers or YouTubers because I like, I don't have, I don't, I, don't, I can't do drama. And again, there was no drama there, but generally when, when I get asked, I'm like, no, I can't do it. <laughs> Cause you just don't know, you know, you don't know, like if they've got some beef with somebody else and then suddenly it looks like, Oh, well we see whose side you're on or whatever. Um, so I just, I usually just say, no, can't do it. Um, yeah, totally. You got to price it high and, and go with it with their minimum shipping fee. I don't, I don't even think about that kind of stuff. Maybe it's not smart of me. What are your feelings regarding selling jewelry on Posh with their minimum shipping fee? Yeah, I don't, I just go with it. I, you know, I just try to list it and Go on with it. All right. I see a couple more questions. I'm going to wait till the end. Let me, I've got a few more to share with you and then I'll answer any other questions. Okay. So this is that pom-pom. I got this in the free pile and it's like a purse pom-pom thing, I guess. It has this loop on it and you can hang it from a purse, I guess, or whatever. Uh, but it, to me, it looked like a Tribble from Star Trek. And so that's why I was like, oh, it looks like a Tribble. And I sold it. So I said, you know, got, got it for zero. And it sold for $13. <laughs> yeah. And then these are the A to Z bookends and they're silver plate. They were super duper heavy. And again, this is one of those times where I don't polish them. There were some up there that were polished that looked similar to this, but um, I didn't polish them. I bought these for $8 and sold them for $50. Yeah, it's faux fur for sure. Uh, then this turkey sold, I actually just sold, it just sold, uh, it must've been today or yesterday. Cause I didn't even notice it sold until I started doing this. Um, bought this for a dollar at a garage sale recently and it sold for 20. It's a little planter. It's cute. And the other turkey I sold one already that I got at the same time as this a little planter. Isn't that fun? And then this is another item. This is another one that I'm like, anything will sell these to me. I got these earrings and then there were some like little jets and they look like the kind that would come on like a card that you would get at Claire's that would come with like 3000 little earrings. But my thought was somebody may not want like the other 10 earrings on this card. They just want, I just want some hot air balloons, right? Or I just want some jets or I just want, you know, they don't want them all. Um, and so I just parted them all out. And again, these sold for $15 and I probably bought all of the little earrings for a buck, you know, that were in the set. So yeah, um, I'll come back to the chat. I see y'all having fun over there. Uh, and then, so again, Facebook marketplace is a new platform for me. I didn't, what on earth? Oh, <laughs> oops. I need to close that out. I sent my sister a goofy video. <laughs> Welcome Facebook marketplace. I said, there's this guy, he had like, he was having, I'll share it on my Facebook. If you follow me on Facebook, uh, Texas Gal Treasures, I'll share it over there because it was hilarious. And he was like doing his hair. He had this beautiful red hair and he was like trying all these different curling irons and curling methods. And just his commentary was hilarious. Um, so I said it to my sister. Okay. Facebook marketplace. Let's get back on track here, Margaret. <clears throat> um, this one was new to me and I decided to go ahead and try it again because it lists perfectly. I was like, well, they offer to send it over there too. It doesn't cost to list there. So I just did it. And so I've sold, I've sold more on Facebook marketplace than on Poshmark. So again, if I didn't have that, I wouldn't have these sales, 
bought these golden girl buttons at a garage sale for, I think it was 50 cents for both of them. And they sold for $16. And then there's that video again. Okay. I'll have to share it. <clears throat> and then this was one of the dolls that was my grandmother's. And this was uh, $19. I'm just so happy that whatever it was I sent my sister was appropriate. <laughs> so I wasn't popping up something wildly inappropriate. Um, anyway, so sold this for $19. Let me quickly maneuver away from that just in case she responds. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so all that being said, uh, my sales were almost $1,200 gross. Uh, so $1,191. So I'm pretty happy about that. That video is going to pop up on every tab. I know. I'll, sh I'll, I'll go share it over on my uh, Texas Gal Treasures Facebook page because it, his commentary is hilarious. And he's like burning himself and like trying to not swear. It's it's really funny. Okay. Um, so for, oh, nice. Okay. Ah, I know I, it, it went further. Hello, Mary. Um, how come you sell so well? I try, but um, I am not selling very well right now. And I was going to talk about that because my sales have just been going bloop. And the reason is I haven't been listing and it's completely my fault. There's a huge correlation between listing and selling. And it's, it's, it is like feeding the beast. If there's no food coming in, there's nothing coming out. You know what I mean? And that's just the way it is. I might get random little sales here and there, but there is a huge, I don't know why, I don't know if it's just the algorithm, but the more I'm listing and the more active I am and getting things up, the more things just are rolling and selling. Um, and the problem was I, I, what I do is I take a huge batch of pictures all at one time and then I work off of those and I run out of my pictures and then I just hadn't had the opportunity to come in and get busy taking pictures. So I did that the other day and I spent the last few days editing because I like to brighten them. I like the pictures to look nice. Um, and it's just tough, you know, because I'm a one, a one woman show. Uh, so yeah, hopefully today or tomorrow I can get back to getting my listings rolling and all that stuff. Yeah. So let's see, what are my feelings? Okay. We talked about that already. How do you know when something's vintage? It doesn't have a mark. I'm nervous about jewelry. Um, if for me, I, I'm not really, um, and maybe this is horrible advice that you don't take. I, I look at it and I ask myself, could it be vintage? Because vintage is like what, 2020? No, no, 2000, right? So now anything is 2000 or before. So I just look at it and ask myself, like, if I don't know for sure, is it something that could have been made before 2020? Because if I don't know, unless somebody comes along and is like, that's not, that was made in 2012 and I can prove it because blah, blah, blah. Then I'm just like, I don't even worry about it. I mean, but if it's clearly something like it's a something that's brand new that is still being sold and not even then still because they make reproduction stuff. So I don't stress about it too, too much. I just go with it. And I haven't really had every now and then it's not even Etsy. It's like another random person that'll pop up and like, that's not vintage. I'm like, OK, thank you. <laughs> you know, but but usually Etsy doesn't. Etsy kind of doesn't police it to, there are certain things that they do. If it's like, you know, ivory or something that's clearly illegal, but generally it's usually other people ratting you out if you have, um, and, but it hasn't happened a whole lot to me. Now it might, because I'm saying that people are going to go like, yeah. Once you list as some of your old stock sell also. Yeah. I find that to be true. But then just like now, like I wonder to myself, would it have sold anyway? And it's just like, because there are, are short tail items which sell like very quickly. And then there are long tail items and they just kind of get sprinkled in. So I don't know. Probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. Prove it. <laughs> Normally I just, I'm like, whatever. I sell on it, all these other platforms anyway. It doesn't, doesn't bother me. Pardon me. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. Um, definitely got to. What software do I recommend for editing and creating videos? I use iMovie, which is really super easy. I've tried using, what is it called? Final Cut Pro or whatever the fancy schmancy one is. It's too much for my little brain. I can't, I can't. 
All right. I just need it easy. And while I can't do all some of the fun, like graphics and other things, I just have to like go with, there are things I'm willing to learn and there are things that I am not. And when it comes to electronic stuff, it's just not, <laughs> it's not. Um, once you touch something, it sells you or when, once you touch it or once you lose it, one or the other, right? Do junk jewelry lots sell quickly? Mm, I've had I've had some that sell quickly and some that have sat for a long time. So yeah. Okay. Well, you guys, I've got some things I need to box up and get ready to ship out. But I'm so glad. I really hope that this doesn't get pixelated in the after um, when it uploads and after the fact. So I appreciate y'all all coming. And again, if you aren't, you know, subscribed, then I would love to have you subscribe and follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. And I'm going to go share that video with y'all since we just talked about it. And I'll talk to you very soon. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Bye.